Hello everyone, I am Kalam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install macOS Monterey, in other words, macOS 12 on VMware on Windows 10. So, there are some required files. The very first thing is that you have to install the VMware itself on your computer. Uh, doesn't matter if you are using the VMware Workstation Pro or the VMware Player. It is up to you. So, the second thing is that you need to have the macOS Monterey uh, ISO file uh, which uh, basically uh, you can download it from here inside into zoom.com uh, at the moment right now uh, I will provide the download link here but at the moment uh, you can see that uh, I am basically compressing it so the size should be a bit less than 14 GB 14.6 GB so I have to upload it uh, inside the Google Drive then I'll provide the link here until the time you have to basically um, watch the video in other words there's also another method uh, you can download the install assistant package then uh, you can basically convert it uh, to the macOS ISO but for that you need to have access to a macOS supreme system so I did it everything inside VMware so now I'm going to show you how we can basically install the V uh, the macOS Monterey on VMware so let's just go ahead open up the VMware Workstation Pro uh, remember that I'll provide the written form of uh, this video uh, inside the interzoom.com so don't forget to visit interzoom.com for further information so the very first thing is that you have to basically go to the home page which is here choose create a new virtual machine choose typical and then uh, choose i will install the print system letter oh one more thing i totally forgot and that is basically the uh sorry virtual machine that is unlocker master remember you have to download it and install it i provide the download link uh then you have to install the win dash install run this one as administrator remember you have to extract them suppose you have to extract it on the desktop just like this and then you have to simply win dash install cmd run this one as administrator the installation will be simple enough that's all uh, these are the required files once you did uh, install them now just go ahead open up the virtual uh, the workstation and then choose create a new virtual machine choose i'll install the print system letter choose apple mac os x12 at the moment it is mac os 11.1 here version but you have if you download the latest version of the vmware uh, there will be a mac os 12 so choose next uh, here you can put a name for it uh, I'm going to put macOS 12. That will be fine. Uh, okay, 11 is also. Okay, macOS. Yeah. And then you can also put a location where you want to save it. Basically, I'm going to save it inside a VMware. That is a directory, especially for the virtual machines. And then next, and here you can basically uh, put the amount of the storage and uh, finally click customize hardware uh, processor has to be if you should if it is true that will be better if there is not again there is no issue with it and then uh, choose use iso image file click browse and go to the desktop or any other location which the macOS mantra is located and uh, there is not anything else once you are done with them choose close and then finish okay once you did uh completed those section go to the location where you just saved the vmware uh, sorry the mac os you just created the virtual machine just created go to view and uh, remember that you have to enable the file extension name we need that one so once you enable that one you can see that mac os dot vmx you can see here you have to open it with the notepad and scroll down to the end simply type uh, smc dot version uh, equals to zero sometimes uh, if zero did not work you have to simply put it inside the inverted comma but for my uh, pc 
it is working without the inverted comma and then simply click go to save file save and then close the window now once you did the section go ahead and power on the virtual machine uh, you will have to install the uh, Mac OS from the scratch step one so let me I'm going to close the other window which are basically unnecessary and I okay now once you are here you have to basically let me have to make it a little bit more smaller okay now you have to just simply uh, choose a language which basically English is most of the people are using the English and then here is the place where you have to uh, partition choose this utility and click continue uh, click here and choose show all devices from here you have to choose the uh, virtual disk basically the disk you just created now uh, choose erase and then name it or erase it whatever just and then click erase now it is going to erase the disk now done okay once you are done with this segment uh, simply close it and now uh, choose install mac os 12 beta currently it is in the beta version as soon as the latest version uh, released i will update the link in other words i will upload the latest uh, version okay now choose continue again agree agree choose the disk and then click continue now this is going to take some time depending on your computer uh, mine okay let's hold on how much time it is going to take so what is done is going to restart the system uh, i mean the virtual machine virtual um, the vmware and then after that one uh, it will be on the segment where you have to choose your uh, country and then your keyword and then it is going to forward so until the time is going to come, I'm going to cut those section. Uh, once the first part of the installation is complete, now we are here in the second part of the installation of the macOS Big Sur, uh, sorry, macOS uh, Monterey on VMware on Windows 10. So here you have to choose basically your country. Uh, whatever is your first letter of the country simply press that one uh, for example if you are living in the united states you have to simply press u until you find out the country known as united states so if you are living in india simply press i or uh, pakistan plus uh, press p and then basically it will take you to that country now click continue here based on the region that you have selected uh the written and the spoken languages or in other words the input keywords will be available uh the, the input keyboard will be available for you suppose if you are living in india the language of indian will be there if you are living in pakistan the language of pakistan will show be there so these are some uh, other features uh, if you want you can just simply go ahead and configure them but at the moment i am not interested in it at all so it is saying that how do you want to connect to the ethernet so for now i'm saying that local ethernet is totally fine i'm totally cool with it so okay how about this one it is asking for a dhcp so how about i use the my computer does not connect to the internet you have to simply choose the second option and then click continue later you will configure them uh, in other words the internet will work on the vmware and when you install the vmware tools everything will be uh, fixed out so it's saying that your make as in connect to the internet so no worries just click continue okay it is the data and privacy you can read about the uh, data and privacy from here in other words you can also click on the learn more however just click continue now this is the window of the migration assistant so if there are anything any file or whatever 
you can just simply transfer them here so here you have to if you don't have since you are performing clean installation just simply choose not now and here are the terms and condition of the macOS or using the macOS and then choose agree now type a name into zoom the password is also into zoom okay now once you type uh, in other words you created an account simply click continue okay now here is another thing which is um, about providing location services and the device analytics so just simply click continue and go on you can also customize the settings and then there's also the screen time you can set up now or you can simply set them later i am going to choose setup later uh, basically the screen time is a thing that uh, it is monitoring your everything so there's also siri uh, if you are interested just go ahead and enable it uh, if not just simply uncheck the tick for the enable siri but i i i recommend you that you have to enable it uh, because uh, a new feature many one of the major updates within the wwdc 21 was basically the siri update among other updates so here are also the looks here that there is the light dark and then their auto okay now once you are done with them choose continue okay now here you can have a look here that the mac os uh, 12 or mac os more has been installed inside the vmware on windows 10 so uh, just about this mac and let's see what so now you can see that it is mac os monterey version 12.0 currently as the beta version and then the processor the ram and the serial number everything has been mentioned here okay now the second thing is that uh, i want to install the vmware tools so i am going to eject this one and then go to vm okay now this is bad it is not available okay now that there is not available let me check if i have the uh, darwin dot file where is darwin vmware vmware linux mint request lina no it is not there how about within the drive c program files vmware okay not here how about vmware orchestration darwin okay here is the darwin i'm going to copy it and paste it okay in any case uh, if the install vmware tools is disabled just like this one so you have to simply visit the uh program files go to drive c program files x86 then find their vmware directory and then vmware workstation and then simply search for darwin darwin.io here is the thing that i have simply copied uh it there also there is uh, uh it is also available inside the vmware uh site also uh, you can simply just go ahead create a free account there and then download the darwin.iso now we need to attach it to here to install the vmware tools browse darwin connect it okay okay now let's just go ahead and install it continue okay install is on this computer yes install okay it's asking for the password basically the password is also into zoom install the software okay now it's saying that the extension has been blocked from the system and security uh, hold on a moment now click on the lock icon is that your password sorry what was that i had no idea so choose unlock and then finally click allow 
uh, it is saying that it requires a restart so let's see what is in the background is the installation done or no once installation once the installation is done we are going to restart the uh, OS in other words make OS Monterey okay now it is done so simply click restart doesn't matter which one you are going to use to restart it's saying installer interrupted don't worry okay and the restart now let's wait until the firmware tool should be installed